tonight Don't let that way to go Better teach us, go teach us to act right Welcome back to my channel. It's Jatera Brianne. If you don't know, now you know. Thank you so much for tuning in. So, as you can tell by the title, today's video is dedicated to spooky season. I created this mermaid scaly type of look. It's super pretty. I love how it turned out. So, yeah, if you want to see how I achieved this look, then just keep on watching. I'm the baddest mermaid out there. You feel me? So let's just jump right into the video, okay? So I already got my eyebrows done. I used the NYX Micro Pencil in Espresso. And I used the LA Girl Pro Concealer. And I'm going to show you guys how I achieved this eye look on this one. So the first step is just to take some concealer to prime our eyelids. I'm just going to take the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Warm Honey, I think. Yep, Warm Honey. And I'm going to apply this all over my eyelid. And I'm going to blend it out with a damp Real Technique sponge. I actually did this look yesterday. I recorded it. <laughs> well, I thought I was recording, but it only recorded like the first 20 minutes of my entire look. So here I am today doing it all over. And I'm going to go right into my first eyeshadow palette, which is going to be the Carly Bible BH Cosmetics. Um, this is the Deluxe Edition. And I'm going to go into... Yeah, as you can see, I love this palette because it's real janky looking, okay? But I'm going to go into this color right here, and I'm going to apply that all over my lid. I'm also using a BH Cosmetics V5 brush to apply this shadow. Ooh, I sound, I sound legit, don't I? Mm-hmm. I've been practicing, y'all. So this is what we have so far, just that one color all over our lid and whatnot. Now we're going to go into a darker color and a different palette. And I'm going to use the Naked Urban Decay Smoky Eyeshadow Palette. I love this packaging. If you know me, you know I love like stuff that resembles marble. And that's like the kind of feel I get from this. But anyways, I'm going to open this and I'm going to use the color Smolder right here. It's like a purple, purpley shade. It's like really dark. It's like hecka dark and it's really smoky. I'm going to use this Anastasia, 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 Anastasia. Beverly Hills brush and I'm going to use that to pick up smolder can y'all see yeah I'm gonna use that and I'm gonna focus this on my outer V and I'm gonna drag it into my crease and when I drag it into my crease I'm gonna use the smaller brush the smaller side of the brush and make sure you really blend that out so keep this brush near you so you can like blend out the edges you know yeah 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 Oh, this is my song. Oh my God, I'm about to sing to y'all. Like, So now that I have my concealer on my eyelid, I'm going to take the Anastasia brush again, the one that had smolder on it. And I'm like literally like barely touching my eyelid just to blend the concealer with that color. I got glitter on my face. Lord have mercy. So that's what you should have so far. Doesn't it look so good? Oh my God, I'm so proud of myself. Okay, so boom. We're done with these two palettes. Now we're going in with our third palette of the day, which is the Jaclyn Hill palette with Morphe. I'm going to take a fluffy flat brush and I'm going in with the color Royalty right here. This color is so cute. And I'm just going to put this color in the center of smolder and the concealer. So like right where this purple color is. I'm just going to pack that right there. 
and make sure you kind of blend as you go. <laughs> it's my song. So now that we have that color on the center of our lid, I'm going to go in with this color next, which is Hustle, I believe. Yes, <laughs> this one's called Twerk. That's funny. But this one is called Hustle, and I'm taking another flat brush. But this time, I'm going to spray this brush before I apply the shadow because this one is more of a foil shade. I'm going to go in with the Morphe setting mist and i'm just gonna spray that on my brush yay okay so now that we got our eyeshadows done i'm going to add some glitter because you know mermaids they're glittery and sparkly so i'm going to be taking this glitter glue from Too faced i'm going to take this with this super duper detailed brush and i'm just going to take some of this glue and apply that to my crease area. Can y'all see me? Okay, I don't know if you can see me, but I'm gonna put this right in this area. And I'm gonna stop it right above the purple shade. Once I have that, I'm going in with my NYX pigment in the color Diamond. This is just like some loose glittery powder. And I'm taking the same brush, and I'm just going to pick up a little bit and put it right... Oh! <laughs> I'm going to place that right over top of the glitter glue. If you have, like, glitter liner, that's probably, like, easier to use. But I didn't have any that I like. So, I'm using this instead. We got improvised, girl. Yes! I like it. Oh, my God. So, after that, I'm going to take some mascara and apply it to my top lashes only. And I'm using the Maybelline Great Lash Mascara. When I was young. I fell in love with Mr. Old Eyes, man, that was enough Then we grew up, started to touch Used to kiss and then the light on the back of the bus So now that I have mascara on, I'm gonna take my falsies these are the falsies that I use. Obviously, they're not in there because I already have one on But these are the Ardell Foaming Wispies in the number <laughs> That number is too long for me to be reading, but here y'all go. And I'm also going to use this duo glue that smells like butt, but it's really, really, really good. So, yeah. You want it. Let me know if you're down. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Ooh, oh, oh. Go to the home now. You can't see a little bit of fabric. Go to the home now. I like to apply my falsies with tweezers and then I take my fingers to make them stick together. And then after that, um, I like to take any kind of liquid black eyeliner and just go over the band a little bit and go over any glue that isn't trying to hurry up and dry. I'm just going to take a little bit of mascara and blend my lashes with them. Because I'm extra like that, you know? Y'all yeah, know. So my first step is to take primer and apply that to my face. I'm going to mix two different ones. I'm going to use the Cover FX Mattifying Primer in my T-zone area because I tend to be a little bit oily. And then I'm going to take the MAC Prepping Prime on my Ozone, you know, because this is very, very moisturizing and I tend to be a little dry around these areas. So, yeah. If you have combination skin, I would like to recommend doing this because it makes my um it makes my makeup last throughout the day regardless of which area my makeup is on. If that made any sense. 
Yes, I'm living for this eye makeup though. Don't it look so good? Oh my god. Now I'm gonna go in with my NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation in the color Macau. Macau. Whatever. I'm gonna make sure I shake that up. Shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. And I'm going to apply my foundation first with the Sephora number 202 brush. I'm going to apply it with this first and then I'm going to use a beauty blender to really evenly distribute it. You feel me? Ooh! In December. Look, throw back for y'all. Also, quickly off camera, I just went around my eyebrows with a little bit of concealer because they were like fading out and I ain't like that. I'm also going to take a damp Morphe sponge to blend this all together. What did she say on that part? Now I'm going to go in with a little bit of concealer and I'm going to be mixing the LA Girl Pro Concealer and Warm Honey with the Tarte Shape Tape and Tan. I'm going to focus this one on the inner corner under my eye and like the tip of my nose and then I'm going to use the LA Girl for the rest of my face. Y'all going to see, okay? Because apparently I don't know how to talk today. I'm going to use this one right here. My cupid's bow, my chin, um, a little bit on my nose, and then like on this area by my eye. Is that even? I hope that's even. Then I'm going to take this one in this area and go down the side of my nose. I'm going to take the same Morphe sponge just because it has access foundation on it and it's going to blend everything nice and wonderfully and gorgeously. Okay. Now that that's done, I'm going to take the Airspun Powder in Warm Honey and I'm going to use a dry beauty blender. A dry beauty blender, okay? I feel like when you use a wet one, it kind of makes the powder, it just gives the powder a weird like texture and I don't like that. So I make sure I use a dry one and I tap my powder and then I blow off all the excess. And just pat it into my skin. This powder is so messy, but I just take it, tap it, blow it, and press it into my skin. Also, I noticed that when I bronze my face and I keep this powder on my face as I'm bronzing, it kind of helps me stay in the lines of where I need to bronze or contour at. So what I like to do is take the NYX love contours all kit this joint is trifling okay i've had it for so long i'm gonna take this brown shade and i'm gonna take a fluffy juicy couture brush to bronze up my face and having that powder right here just keeps me in line as i bronze i'm gonna take this little fluffy brush to contour my nose and when I contour, I just make sure I'm barely touching my nose. Because this powder can be very pigmented. Shout out to NYX. Y'all did a good job. And once that's done, I like to take the Sephora number 91 brush. And I brush all that powder off. When your face come out real cute or whatever. <laughs> and I'm going to take the same Morphe setting spray again. And I'm going to drench my face in this spray, okay?
I said drench, right? And then I just go in this area and like pat and blend out that contour a little bit. Because I don't like a harsh contour. Even though my face is fat, I should, but I don't. And that is it for my face makeup for right now. Now, hopefully, I am able to do what I want to do with this creative mermaid look. I'm going to be using face paint, white face paint at that. I'm going to take, um, like, some kind of fishnet stocking. I think this came with one of my, like, wig caps. So pray for me because I really don't know how this is going to go. So yeah, I'm going to take this little angle brush. This is what the face paint looks like when you open it. It's like really creamy. And I'm going to outline where I want my scales to go. So if I go down the, go down the middle of my forehead and like a line right there, I kind of want it to go like that uh, that kinda wait that's like totally n it doesn't have to be perfect cause it's gonna be blended so this is just like a rough outline okay uh, I kinda want it to go like this And then like this, some kind of outline. It does not have to be perfect. Something like that. Okay, this is kind of the outline I want. It looks a little crazy right now, but it's gonna look better once I do it, trust me. I probably looks hella stupid. Okay, there we go. There we go. I kind of want it to look like that. You want to make sure this does not move on your head, okay? If it moves, your scales are going to be messed up. So what I'm just going to do is take the paint and I'm going to paint over the scales, okay? I'm not out here playing games. I do this for the music, not the fans. Hey, Mac, what Where the love go? Five, four, three, two, I let one go. Wow, get the f though. I don't bluff, bro. Aiming at your head like a buffalo. Okay, so now that I have my white layer of face paint down, I'm going to take the same royal dark purple shade that I put on the center of my eyelid from the Jaclyn Hill palette, the same brush. And I'm basically gonna take that color and pack it on like the perimeter of the triangle. Make sure you kind of bring it down underneath the paint so it like blends into the skin and looks really scaly like it's coming out of your skin. We are not human, okay? We are mermaids. I'm going to take this Urban Decay brush that came from the Smoky Eyeshadow palette and I'm going to pick up this color from the Carly Bible palette and I'm gonna pack that onto the center where the white is. Now to blend those colors, I'm gonna take the small side of the brush and I'm gonna take the first shade that we put on our entire lid and I'm gonna like blend those two colors together. I'm really scared to see how this is gonna look, but I am going to take it off. Be very gentle, cause this paint has not dried yet. Oh my God, it looks hecka cool. I like can't even see right now. This is dedication, I swear. I can't see, I can't talk. Oh my God. I hope y'all could hear me. <laughs> but now that the paint is on, I'm gonna use the darker purple at the bottom, but the lighter shades at the top. 
because I want it to mimic a contour and a highlight. And I'm just going to pat that on. This is so difficult. I wish I had someone to help me. And then for the middle, I'm going to take that color we used on our lid and put that in the center. Time to reveal, okay? Yes! It looks so good. Yo! This came out better than this one. I think I put too much paint up here. I think it was too thick. Okay, I'm gonna do the same exact thing to the other side. So I have all my scales on, and now what I'm gonna do is finish up my under eye, add some, um, you know, add some shadows and some mascara and probably some eyeliner. <laughs> I should do some little dots or something. Okay. Like I was saying before my camera stopped recording, I am outlining my lips with the NYX Brown Lip Liner. Once I do that, I'm going to use the NYX Soft Matte Cream in London, and I'm going to place that in the center of my lips. And then I'm going to take this lip gloss by Revlon in the color Smoky Topaz. This is really pigmented, so I'm just going to use a little bit of this. And I think that's it for the lips. But the last thing to do is to get a little brush to put some highlight down the bridge of my nose and my cupid's bow. Okay, I'm going to use a mixture of these two to highlight my face and i'm gonna make my highlight pop out like crazy because i'm a mermaid you feel me oh my god this is so extra i love it right, so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe turn on your push notifications and if you like this video or you want to see me do more cool and crazy looks like this then just comment down below what you want to see and yeah i'll see you guys next time Bye.